What's going on guys? Joe the Chocobo here with a clean area. It's looking very, very handsome and very, very good and I appreciate that. But we have all this cleaned up. Everything's been moved into our ME system. We are filling up the slots, so I have to be a little bit careful here. But honestly speaking, like we still have, even though it's like just one drive, you have to remember like we haven't even touched these other three. So we have 64 potential, well, 63 different kinds of items that can go into here and then like a couple more in this area as well. But I'm gonna consider that more or less used. But look at all that storage that we use. This one actually in particular, killed it on. But plenty of room, plenty of space. We can obviously update that and make some more drives and whatever else. I don't even know if I'm gonna have to make a super one because those things are really useful for like mass, mass amounts of things, but I don't know if I will come to that point, so. Who knows, who knows what will happen here. <laughs> and ooh! Wait, would that work? Nah, 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 I ain't gonna mess with that. I ain't gonna mess with that. All right, so anyways, as promised, today is gonna be about loot bags. Loot bags, of course, being a very fabulous thing. If you've never seen loot bags before, then you have lost out in many things, and I just moved one. But uh, loot bags are little things in Sky Factory, although I think they're technically from a mod called loot bags. Um, so perhaps you have run into them in your other experiences. But we do have these loot bags here now. Worn out loot bags will give us cakes. But these guys can give us like all sorts of random stuff, which is kind of neat. Um, the worn out loot bags are always predetermined to be cakes. The There's like other kinds of bags as well. Oh, a bat bag, a hero with no praise or glory. That's new. Where, oh, where has my little bat gone? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? His cow, his cow, his temper so foul. I do hope he's coming for me. That wasn't bad. I think I actually carry the tune quite well there. All right. Her. Oh, great. That's awesome. I've always wanted to spawn bat egg. Cry. <laughs> But any schedules, let's go ahead to our loot bags and let's make a lot of these guys as high of a tier as we can. Now this, of course, will go by much, much faster now because we have this all in our ME terminal. So I can just do these kind of all at once and kind of move forward that way, which will be nice. So let me go ahead, store all those up, get some more of these rare loot bags going. All right, looks like that's gonna be our cap there. And then put these loot bags into here get some epic loot bags and then it looks like we'll just have enough for one legendary all right so one whoop, that is loo that's not what i want to do all right so let's go ahead take a gander at what we got from this spread of loot bag action boop boop i said boop darn it you will boop whenever i boop all right so let's go ahead in order of of course rarity bang 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 all right so down the line, here we go. Starting with the uncommon loot bags, no commons, but let's go through. Uncommon, three, two, one. Wow, it's two things of bone! Oh my! Uh, I cry every time. Sorry. Okay, uh, uh, that's, I mean it's better. <laughs> Imp skin jerkin? Sure. <laughs> No idea what that is, but yeah, sure. Okay, cool. All right, so there's all the income in loot bags. Interesting. Three, two, one. Rare. Okay, slimy sapling. I think I actually rate that. Ooh, actually. Wait, let's. Okay, we'll we'll okay we'll plant that in this episode. Three, two, and one. Conductive iron and two more blitz rods. Okay, not bad, not bad. And then three, two, one, epic! Cheese on toast. You know what? I rate it. I rate cheese on toast highly. All right. Cheese on toast. Oh, so swag. Oh my gosh. Best drop I've had all my life. Here we go, guys. Legendary loot bag. Oh, planets. Oh, stars. Oh, moon above. Well, whatever. Yeah, Saturn. All these other planets. Please, please, please do not give me compass in this. Three, two, one. Oh. Lamb with mint sauce. We're very, very avant-garde with our food here. All right, cool. All in all, I, I think that's okay. That was actually all right. Um, this is kind of interesting. I've never seen this before. I 
don't know if what it does. I'm actually going to test it out. I'm going to mess around a little bit, see if I can get it to do something cool. We're also going to take everything else out of here. That is, oop, and I just put the boots away. Where are you? All right, Crimson Cult Boots. Let's take a look. So what do you do? Do you do anything? Warping. What does warping do? Hold on. Let's see. Warping. Thomcraft, I guess, is where this is from. Um, hmm. I wonder what this is. So warp, let me see, warping. All right, uh, okay, so this gives me temporary warp, gain from being attacked by Eldritch Guardians or using items which have warping as a status effect, such as void mail tools and armor, void thaumaturge, robes, or even crimson cult equipment. This type of warp slowly disappears over time. This can be acquired from armor and items with the warping effect, which does not appear on the GUI as an effect. It gives the player temporary warp over time. Apparently it's a debuff, so it sounds pretty bad. The effect of warp. Warp causes many problems for the player, but can also aid them in small ways. As the player accumulates more warp, uh, more warp, effects are more common and have increased effect. Now these effects can be cured by normal methods of removing debuffs like milk, but some of the symptoms are avoidable with the right items. If you gain enough warp, you will be you will unlock the Eldritch researching tab on the Thomicon. Okay, so this is okay good. With even more warp unlocked, the player will get several endgame researches such as void thaumaturge armor. So this gives you a whole bunch of random stuff which I'm not going to get into. So let's go ahead and take it off for right now. I don't quite understand what this is, but uh, we'll just. I don't, I don't know if I want this in my inventory. It sounds very spooky, and I don't know if I want to mess with that. All right, so away, away, away. Let's go plant ourselves a slimy sapling and go see what it's going to yield. I'm kind of excited for these. All right, so wow, that explodes in a. Hold on, do that again. Oh come on, that was my okay, whatever, fine. It splashed blue everywhere, and then now it is not splashing blue, and I have a floating tussie. Uh, floating Tessie, you've done your job. Good job. We have now cleaned up the area, and no small part thanks to you. You've done good. You've done very, very good. All right, now we have ourselves a slimy sapling that demands that we give it bone meal. Bone, bo bo bone, yes. Bone meal. All right, so let's go see if what happens when we grow this sucker. And you may be thinking to yourself, Choco. That's the episode? Surely not. And indeed, you would be right. There's going to be more to the episode. But first, I want to see if I can grow the sucker. Which... Hmm. Oh, uh, you know what? I bet you this is going to be one of those weird things where it's like, you have to be on, like, this crap. Okay. Like, slimy mud and stuff. Probably have to build on one of these things. Meh. Alright, whatever. Alas, we will come back to you at a later point. We will come back to you at a later point. Actually, I wonder. Slime. There is this congealed slime. We can make the slime mud. Well, let's if I look up just slim. <laughs> All right, so slim, 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 slim bricks. Slime heads, all this other stuff. I wonder. All right, well, the one that seems to be the best candidate for this stuff is probably the grass. Although, admittedly, I don't quite know how I'm supposed to obtain said grass, but eh. I'm assuming this will also work with slimy mud, so let's go with that. So we need four slime balls, a dirt, and a sand. Let's put that together. All right, so if I just zip on over to here, I should have some slime essence, indeed. And then I can just make a whole bunch of these bad boys, put these back. And then with that in tow, do I have dirt in here? Okay, I do have dirt. Do I have sand in here? 
I do not have sand. All right, so let's go ahead, abscond a little bit of sand from our little production area over here. Actually, let's take let's take a. Well, nope, not what I want to do. All right, so let's take ourselves three stacks of everything. Let's even take an extra couple of stacks of sand. Sand we use for a lot of different things. The other dust and gravel, not so much, but sand we actually do use quite a bit, so that should be all fine and dandy. All right, so let's go ahead and see here. Let's see if my hypothesis is correct. So slimy, nope, slimy mud. All right, let's make one slimy mud and let's see if that works. And we'll hopefully find that this will work out wonderfully. I do not know. All right, so let's go ahead. I will save you, dirt. All right, and then slimy mud. Will you grow into a fabulous tree? No. All right, so slimy grass. I, my money's on slimy grass being the thing that we need. All right. All right, that's okay. That's fine, because we actually still do want some slimy mud anyways, because slimy mud, I believe, is what we can then use to create slime crystals. So, all in all, it's still okay. Admittedly, kind of would have been nice to, had, had to have done that, but still, it's okay. It's all right. We're doing all right. So we can go ahead and put in our slimy mud into here. And then we will, I, I suppose we'll leave the slimy sapling, let's we'll leave the slimy sapling over in the farm area, just in case. That way we can kind of goof it around with it later. But let me just drop you off here. Boop. All right, good. So now what we need to do is the next part of the episode, which I'm sure some of you are already knowing what it is, but loot bags have this interesting thing called a loot recycler. Now, Loot Recycler, if you've never heard of this before, it's actually kind of a neato canito little invention. What it does is it takes things that are findable in loot bags and it converts said items into things such as white loot bags. I think that's the only thing it's actually capable of doing. But it is pretty darn cool and it's fairly cheap to make. So all in all, win-win, I'd say. I would consider this to be a win-win. Now, because of the nature of the thing, I'm gonna put this right here. And then we can probably make do with getting rid of some zombie rotten flesh. That's what I meant to say, not zombie flesh. All right, so let me go ahead, fill up our inventory with some of this rotten flesh. And then we can even make an export bus that specifically tries to do this stuff. But it has a fairly large inventory. And I don't know if I would necessarily be too terribly concerned about this. So. Just like that, good number of bags, right? And we can even, actually perhaps an export bus wouldn't be a bad idea here. We would need another, uh, what, we need some more of these cards here. Let me think, what, what, what do we, so we can get the following things that are common. Rotten flesh is the one that's an easy thing. I do wanna keep some bone, um, so I, I would do bone manually. But I really have no real good use of zombie flesh. I can change it into jerky, and that's about it, as far as I'm concerned. Although, actually, no, there's some stuff we can cry. Okay, you know what? Never mind. No, 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 no. Because this the problem is that we'll eventually want zombie flesh. That's the problem. Is that if it was just like zombie flesh and whatever else, and that was it, that would be fine. But let's just do this for now. All right, so let's go ahead and store some zombie flesh into here. And, ooh, you know what we can do? Arrows. We have tons of this crap, and I have, I have no potential use for this. So let's go ahead. Oh, but arrows can't darn you. Actually, wait, is that a problem with that? Or Yeah, it's a problem with that. All right, so let me go ahead, store the arrows back. Curses. Um, what was it? What were the, here, hold on. Let me see if I can look it up. Let me see, loot recycler. I need to see what things are valid for the loot recycler. Does it have a list of items? I don't believe so. All right, perhaps not. Hmm. Well, I wonder if we can use heads. Let's try. Let's try to use two heads. Let's, we're going to kind of poke around with this a little bit. Okay, so the heads do work. 
heads are actually a pretty decent option here. Um, what else can we do here? I really doubt that you can use... Actually, sticks may work. Do sticks work? LOL, I can make sticks? Okay, well, uh, that's good to know. Hold on. Oak wood. I, I need to... I need a... <laughs> we still have... <laughs> We still haven't done that yet. I really need to get to get around to doing that. Wow, that's crazy. So sticks work. Okay. Um I I really would be shocked if cobblestone works. If cobblestone works, I'm gonna lose my mind. Cause cobblestone would be like mad easy to do. Yeah. No way. No way, Jose. Alright, let's go ahead and cross that into stone. I doubt stone would work either. I don't know why stone would work. All right, but let's take a look. No, okay. So that also does not work. I wonder. So we have we have the music discs, right? Let's take one of these music discs and let's throw it into here. Okay, so music discs do not work. They are not considered valid, or at least not that particular music disc. And. Uh, we don't have enough of those. And Witch's Hands, I don't necessarily know if I want to do this yet. Because Witch's Hands, I don't know. I feel like if I use Witch's Hands, I'm going to regret using it. So, I think I'll leave the Witch's Hand be. Alright, cool. So, but upside, we know that for a fact that we can use sticks. Sticks is actually a pretty big deal, because if we can use sticks, then, you know, sky's the limit. But let me go ahead, get a whole bunch of these common loot bags. And let's go ahead, just... Get them out into there. Get them out in. All right. Good solid bit of loot bag action. But because of this, we have a really good valid way. I think sticks are the way to go, though. I think that's going to be, like, the real MVP of everything here. So let me see. Let me take these loot bags. So whatever loot bags we got, we'll convert them. And I think we got a little bit more time, I think, for today. I think I'm okay with going a little bit longer. So what we'll end up doing here is after I convert this, let's actually work on getting some kind of tree solution, because I, I do want some kind of something for trees. I don't want to live in a life of five ever, five ever doing wood in a really strange way. Silicon, marble stone, birch sapling, and cotton seeds. It's okay. Soul sand? Eh. All right. Rare loot bag. Three, two, one. Mm, okay. <laughs> I I just wonder if the game knows its choice. Like I just feel like if if the game had any form of like self awareness, it must just absolutely just have a riot laughing at me whenever I do things like that. It's like I have great hopes and dreams. The game's like <laughs> you're about to get wrecked. Oh, you jerks! All right, let's go down. Let's go end the lives of some of these bad boys here. And then after we take care of a round of these bad boys. Ooh, compressed skeletons. But after we take care of a round of these guys. Ooh, even a compressed zombie. Ooh, have a wizard hot. Then we'll go off and we'll start working on some tree solutions. If you were to ask me, would I do it? The answer is yes. Yes, I would. <laughs> oh, please help me. My... Oh, you feel you could feel like you could fulfill mighty deeds with your executioner, like chopping off heads. Yes. All right, let's go ahead, execute some more things. Is that a zombie hat? Man, they're getting fancy up in here. They're getting all kinds of stuff. All right, smack, smack, smack. I saw an angry zombie just now, but now they're all dead. <laughs> then just like so, we're back to square one. Good, good, good. And then let me just check to see if we've gotten any other pleasant little surprises here. Uh, loot bags. Eh, we have some. Not a lot, though. All right, cool. So we need to work on a tree solution is the, what I've been saying. And I think that is of completely legitimate concern. So we do need some dirt. 
And we still have not gotten our Moomoo's to take either. Actually, you know what? Yeah, okay. Never mind. I was about to say something that I was like, eh, actually, I don't know if that's necessarily true. All right, let's go ahead and get ourselves a farming station because we are going to need another farming station here. And I think that we're just going to have to deal with it and make another Matic. I just, I don't see a way around it, unfortunately. So let me go ahead. We'll, I guess we'll do some Earth Essence. Hold on, let me do this real quick. So Earth Essence, and then just make like a whole butt ton of dirt. All right. I think that qualifies as a butt ton, and then we can go ahead, whip out our wand, because I'm a wizard, and then I'm going to need farming stations, which we do have two of them. Although I'm also going to probably be needing an octatic capacitor in the nearest future, but we'll see. All right, so let's go ahead, bring these bad boys over, and then we are going to need to put down just one farming station, actually. But I think I'm going to leave these as is. I don't want to really mess with that, but I will, however, mess with this little area right here. Now, I do have to be careful that whatever it harvests is not going to mess with anything else. So let me see. This back area right here, it's not really going to conflict with anything. So let me use this area as our spot for trees. So let me just go ahead and rip out. These little things of oak wood planks. And then we should also... Actually, let's just rip out the whole lot. Why not? All right. Goodbye. 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 And goodbye. Ooh. And Daredevil got another modifier. Good. And then just like that, we are well on our way. So let's go ahead and fill this all in with dirt. And get ourselves this stuff going. Now, I guess I do actually need that torchy here, because this one's going to go away. This is this one. And then we're going to put the farming station right there, and then another one right there. We don't need capacitors, actually, for this, now that I think about it, because we, we don't actually have a particular need for it. But we do need to get an unbreakable matic into each. But we can get this started with what we do have. So I don't have to like delay it or anything. So here we go. Let me just go ahead and obtain. Um, right, let's just take a whole bunch of saplings, and then we can store in like the ten here extra. So it's always good to have some extra fallback saplings, I think. All right, and then we got ourselves these saplings here. They are going to need some power, so we're going to have to go consult the great Tessie. But let's just go ahead and do it this way. Hey, hello. All right, and then do that right there. And we could put shears in here as well to get the leaves. I I mean, I know that you can technically use it as Tinker's Construct, but I, I just don't see the point. So we're going to go ahead and leave that as is. And then, actually, I guess we have a Tessie right here. Eh, I just I want to I wanna simplify this down a little bit more. So let me go ahead and just reach in either and get our... We're going to, wait, actually, mm, all right, we should make our Maddox first. Let's see if we can make our Maddox without too much of an incident. So, magical wood. Do I have enough magical wood to make this happen? And my gut feeling is that the answer is going to be no. Magical wood. All right, magical wood is going to, oh, God, God, we need to do flim flams again. All right, so... Oh, I don't want to do that right now, though. The struggles. The struggles of life are real. All right, so... I guess we can make flim flam. Grumble, grumble, grumble. All right, and we need book shells. I still don't have a good way to get leather. Darn it. Oh, no. Literally just cry every time. I do have some magical wood left over. I wonder if it's enough. Please be enough. I don't think it's enough, though. 
I don't think we've stored away enough. <laughs> I don't think we can do it, but we will try. I will try my hardest. All right, so I'm going to need an axe pattern. Actually, I wonder if a hatchet would work. Eh, no, whatever. I might as well just make a minimatics. All right, so wooden axe head, two of those. We're also going to need shovel heads, two of these. And then, if memory serves, I'm just going to need the tool rod, right? Minimatics. Yes, I just need tool rods at this point. Fabulous. All right. Um, tool rods, tool rods, tool rods, tool rods. Oh, wow. We actually made it. <laughs> I don't know why. I just didn't think we would actually make it, but we did. We did it, guys. We did it. Power of friendship and love. We managed to do the impossible. Make an actual medic without making me cry tears at night. All right. So, shovel head that and these beautiful all right cool so now that we have these maddox of course we have to now make obsidian thingies and then we have to go ahead and reinforce them i don't actually remember um obsidian i think i have to make obsidian plates right uh tinkers constructs Let's see here. Tinker's construct. Do 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 do. I forget how to do it. And let me see here. I think it's plates. I think I think it is plates. I I can't. I'm not 100 percent sure about that, but I think it is plates. Regardless, though, if memory serves. I need to level them all up once a piece anyhow. So let me go ahead. We have our wand here. Let me go ahead and do this. Kind of a waste of dirt, but it's dirt. Who cares? <laughs> we, we can now we have like infinite dirt basically. So I really just I'm kind of like eh, whatever. All right, so with that here. Boop. There we are. One level for our lovely little magical wooden mattock. And let's do the same again. Boom. And just like that, we have two broken mattocks. Lovely. And then with this in tow, we can do, take this into here and then we can fix it up. Very nice. Very nice. All right. And then we have ourselves these lovely, lovely things. New. I just realized we're going to run into a sort of an issue here because I don't actually have an empty Tinker's Construct thing for this kind of thing. And I don't think there's another way to make the plates really happen. So I'm going to need to construct a small Tinker's Construct for this particular issue. Well, I suppose I could just put them in here. Yeah, you know what? No, I can do that. Oh! No, 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 no! Oh! <sighs> like... <laughs> oh, sad times, man. <laughs> Feels bad. Feels real bad, man. <laughs> Not cool, game. Not cool at all. Oh my. Alright, Stone Tool Rod. Get yourself back in there. Oh no, crap! Why, Brain? Why are you so dumb? Ugh. <laughs> Why am I so dumb? Alright. Oh my lord. My word. I, oh, for crying out loud. Get out of here. You've broken my heart once already. All right. And then tool rod. Make that. I just waste a signal on oh, That's like, that's what really feels bad right there. Ugh, gosh darn. All right. Go ahead. Get some gold into here. All 
All right, and that has been recreated. Now I do have the actual large plate cast already here. And I should just be able to put it on top so the obsidian flows through first. So I think we actually should be okay by just using that tinker smeltery. I think we'll be fine. So let me go ahead and reach into my back goodies, get some obsidian. Oh, where, oh, where is obsidian? Oh, where, oh, where could it be? This will create eight of them. I need another stack or so. All right, so I'm actually going to need... Let's just take three stacks out because I think we're actually going to... I think each one of these gives me one level of it. So if I need nine, then that means I would need quite a bit. 72 obsidian par. Hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and cook these obsidian down. Mm -hmm. And then cook for me, baby. Cook! Cook like you've never cooked before! The tension. It could kill a man. All right, and then let's put our magical wood back into the place where it is. And apparently I can make plates from the forge itself. I don't need to smelt it. Okay, so, uh, can I save it? Can I save it? Oh, that's right, because I'm dumb. You're absolutely right, guys. And I just screwed this up. Quickly, recover all the obsidian that you can. Mm. Did we get them all? Yeah, we did. All right, good. Because all I need to do is I just need to do this, man. That's all I got to do. All I got to do is use this, and then I just... Wait, no. Is it this? No, wait, it's this. So if I just do this, I should be able to work with it. Part builder. Ha-ha! Hazooks. And then Hazooks. And then, like, a little bit of Hazooks. Like, Hazooks. All right, perfect. So now that we have this in place, we should be able to do this. Magical wooden thing. Nope. All right. Reinforce, reinforce. Reinforced, reinforced, reinforced. Will you do the bandango thunder button lightning? Very, very fighting me! Effective durability, infinite. That is what I like to see! And then, same thing for here. And then, with that. Unbreakables! Hey! And then we just need to get ourselves these matics into there. Zoom on through. So matic for you and a matic for you, sir. And then we just have to, I guess we can use this Tessie. Why not? So we'll just use this Tessie here. Is this gonna create spookies? It didn't? Oh, wow, okay. And that's obsidian, Choco. It may look like a Tessie in your strange mind of a bird brain, but it is not a Tessie. All right, and then energy, you are now going to accept energy. All right, and then we just need to get ourselves some of the other things going. And actually, while we're on the subject of this, I might as well, hmm, I guess this is actually fine. Like, we, I don't, I don't really have a good reason to stop it. So, eh, whatever, I'll leave it be. I can leave it be for now. But we will use some good old fashioned leadstone flux pipes for that. <laughs> Alright, down we go. Flux. Flux. 200 RF per tick should work. I, I really don't think we need more than that. I'd be very surprised we need more than that. And then just run this in over. And then. And then, my friends, and then, magic. Huh! Ha! <laughs> Saplings as far as the eye can see. That's not going to work at all. I wonder if that wood can... Would that work? Will these ever grow? Hold on, I'm actually curious now. I am i don't actually know if those will grow. I feel like it will... I'm not 100% sure about that, but let's see. Let's see if we can get that to grow, because I would like to get some more wood there. I would like to get some wood going. All right, and I guess we'll we'll worry about getting our, our not crops, but our uh, friend, the moo moos. We'll we'll expand their little ranch area a little bit later on in life. All right, let me see. Go ahead, chompity chomp chomp, 
And let's get this watering can over and then let's start watering those saplings. And let's see if that will work for these trees. Because I'm not I'm not super keen on getting like a bajillion wood. Like I'm that's not the goal here. Oh yeah, that grew. Oh, then there it goes. I can't tell if it replenished or not. Did it replenish just now? All right, hold on. So we're at, there's sevens across. Come on, come on, grow, darn it, grow, grow! Okay. Okay, yeah, that worked. Okay, so yeah, it, this is getting the saplings back, so it's, it's self-sustaining, good. All right, so this is gonna start generating us a whole bunch of that good stuff. The one thing that I am going to need there, though, is I'm going to need something to extract the wood and the apples from there. Because I don't want that to just kind of be running around rampant without anything. So let me go ahead, zip on over to here, and then we can go grab ourselves some uh, transfer stuff. I think we actually do need a transfer node for this. I'm not actually 100% sure. Let's get, let's just... Mm, here, I'm going to bring two Tessies, and then let's let's just, in case we need them, bring two of these transfer nodes, and then a whole lot of these. All right, so with that, we should be assured we'll be able to make something happen here. So I don't think it worked previously. So let me go ahead and zip onto the back. All right, and then with said farming stations, dig underneath them. And let's see, let's see if this does work. So I can configure this. Nope, yes, okay, so this is currently on push. And I'm gonna put this Tessie there. It is going to send items to the ME storage. Disable that, set the frequency, and let's see. Let's see if that worked or not. I think it actually might. Yep, it did. All right, good enough for me. Good enough for me. Let me go ahead and do the same thing here. Configure, push, put that down to the ME storage. Ignored, send items, everything else is disabled. The boom. All right, so these two are now sending their things over to that. A little bit confused as to why there's a random hole in this one, but yeah, we can fix that. All right, so let's go ahead, zip on back over. We now have automated wood. It's not super fast growing wood, but I don't I don't want like nine trillion wood. That that would not help us really. It would it would probably be more of a problem than anything else. We can ooh, actually, you know what we can do though? We can probably add sprinklers. That could be kind of something cool. Because we never actually used our sprinklers. <laughs> uh, how how much of a range do sprinklers have? Here, let's look this up. Sprinkler open blocks. So sprinkler. I don't know the area. It covers the default radius of four meters in every direction, which I'm assuming is four blocks in every direction. So I'm assuming that's like a square radius, like length and width. So if that's the case, that would work. Um, what do you guys think? Sprinklers? Should we add sprinklers there? Because we never actually did end up doing anything with that. And we probably could do with it. Hmm. All right, so let me see. Let me get one wood plank here. Wood, 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 wood. All right, one wood plank. And then we can go ahead, fix in that one little slot, and then we can be all in good shape. I think, you know what, regardless, and you know what, we're going to kind of expand our operation a little bit here. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm gonna do one more thing, which is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go 
and make us an aqueous accumulator. It's about that time. We should make a water channel. We have the tesseracts. We have everything else. It's just a question of making the aqueous accumulator. So let me see. Aqueous accumulator. Hello, friend. Now, I am going to need to make another dadgum machine frame for this stupid, rustle, bustle, no good, dirty, rotten thing. So let me go ahead. Machine frame basic. Okay, I'll make two. I'll make two. That's fine. Keep it symmetrical. And then with these machine frame, whoop, machine frame basics, go into hardened. I don't have the invar or the electrum for this. What do I, what do I have here? Okay, I have the glass for that. And I don't have the endurium for that. Okay, so I'm going to need two things of electrum. So I'm going to need to make some electrum here. Gold and silver. So let's get a... Let's see. So gold and silver. Gold, gold, gold. One, two, three, four. I don't remember if it's a one-to-one. -one. I feel like it is, but just in case it isn't, let's put that back. All right, so alloy smelter. Hello, friend. Oh, you're making the... <laughs> I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, and then this is the sag mill. That's the induction smelter. Actually, an induction smelter would also work, but... Let's just keep it simple, hey? Eh? Keep it simple, man. Keep it very, very simple. Alright, I'm just gonna leave that into whatever. Alright, four silver, four gold. Cook that up. Yep, alright, good. It is two per. So there's our electrum that we need. We also are going to need invar. So let's go ahead, move that up into here. Move those endurium bases as well. Uh, so invar, I need eight of these ingots in total. That is going to be iron and nickel. Two iron to every nickel. So that should be actually really easy to do. So I think I need to make three of these. Yeah, because I'll make nine. All right. And then iron, iron, iron. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, so that takes care of that. And then that puts us a little bit closer to this all. So that takes care of this. Now we also have to make ourselves signalum gear, which we actually have signalum melted down. But let's just let's craft it from scratch because we already have some stuff down there. So redstone, so we need copper, silver, and redstone. Mm, all right, so six, two, and twenty. Copper. One, two, three, four, five, six. Silver. One, two, and then redstone. A plenty. We'll take some extra redstone down with us. And then Endarium. Endarium, Endarium, Endarium. Actually, I, I can use the base that we made. All right, so I can, I'm going to need what? Eight of these total as well. So I'm going to need the eight of those that I actually just put back in. So Endarium. There's the eight of those. Let's also get eight Ender Pearls. And then four charming things of Pyrothium. And then we should all be good. All right, so off to the race as we go. Let me go ahead, flop all that into there. I actually put in more than we needed, but that's okay. All right, and then I think Signalum we're just generally going to want to make excess of, so I'm actually okay with doing this. All right, so copper, silver, all into there. Endarium base, Ender Pearl, and Pyrothium into here. And then that's now cooking up. So that's going to create the endarium that we need. The other one's going to make the signalum that we need. And so at least for the time being, what I can do is I can at least put together. I never retrieved any of this stuff. So I need the invo. What? Oh. Question mark? I'm losing my freaking mind. Did I throw the Electrum into... Uh, that's what I did. I probably threw it back into here, didn't I? 
I'm losing my mind, guys. I'm absolutely losing my mind. All right, machine frame. Let's go ahead and make two of these gears. Okay, good. And then, well, what the heck did I do with the Envar? Did I not make the... Oh, I never made the Envar. <laughs> I'm like, what did I do with half this stuff? What am I doing? My brain. My Dane Bramage. The Dane Bramage is too real. Here, we can just make you here. Oh, that's actually fast. All right. Good good to know. I didn't actually know it was that fast. All right, and then that's going to create more signalum. This is going to make... Okay, this is working on the last bit of Endarium. That's okay. So let's go up, up, up. Grab ourselves. Up to just before Resonance. So that should be... On the way. Machine frame. Okay, and then signal them into there. Make signal them gears, two of those. And then put that together. Machine frame, signal them gear. Good, good, good. And then shield projector. Hmm. All right, machine frame resonance. Endarium gear, and then also silver, which we have plenty of. So I just need to get the endarium gears, which should be easy peasy lemon squeezies. Eight endarium ingots. Up, up, up. And to the races we go. Machine frame. All right, and then let's go ahead and make those bad boys. Boom. And then with that in tow, with machine frame resonance. All right, good. Now, aqueous accumulator. What else do I need for you? We're gonna need two things of copper gears, a pneumatic servo, thickened glass, or just I think any kind of glass will work, Buckets, so I don't actually okay. I can make one of those. I actually need two because I'm obviously making two, and then copper gear. Can't quite make copper gear outright. I can, however, do this. Don't know why I left this screen to do that, but eh, whatever. All right, aqueous accumulator. Copper gears. All right, two of those. And oh, <laughs> when when Choco derps, <laughs> please, Choco, you you need more than that. You you just said that you need <laughs> you need two Choco, two I say. Use your brain, friend. All right, and then we have everything here, and then we should be in pretty good shape with that. I'm assuming that we can just do it this way. All right, there we go. Two aqueous accumulators ready to go and ready to serve. Now these bad boys are going to, of course, require some power and whatnot, but should be relatively fine. I think that will actually end up being okay. Yeah, so that's going to accumulate water just fine as it is. And then we can go ahead and put this aqueous accumulator right here. All right, now due to the nature of kind of what this is going to do for us, we do have to end up putting in two tesseracts because it's not going to really fit in with the water. Like, I don't want water trying to go into here. So I need to make myself... Oh, there's like... You can, I guess we could cleverly do it so we could kind of bypass that, but I'm not going to worry about that. So we're going to get four tessies in total. And then... That's actually... Oh, and okay, yeah. And then we're also going to want to make those augments, I think, as well. So, let me go ahead. Right now, it's configured so it's pushing out water in any way that it can, which is not what I want. All right, let's see here. This is, we're talking three blocks away. So, one, two, three. Whoop, one, two, three, right here. All right, and then this is gonna end up creating the opposing part to lava. So let me go ahead and make this into 820. Set you to water. Disable the redstone control, and you are strictly sending fluid. All right, so that's currently sending fluid. That should be... Oh, actually, do we even need power for this? I don't know if we actually need power for aqueous accumulators, now I think about it. Yeah, we don't... Hmm, okay. 
Well, that's fine with me. All right, so let's go ahead, just knock it out. I do think hiding the test racks underneath though is the way to go. So let me go ahead and do that. Send the fluids. Put you on the, ah, mm, you sneaky little devil, you. All right, 820, water. All right, set the frequency into water land. Then you. Okay, you're actually already on the water channel. Good, good, good. All right, so there it is. All the water is currently moving about, doing its thing. And what I suppose I can do with this now is I can just actually take our aqueous accumulator. Hmm. I guess we kind of took up the spot that would be ideal to put it in, but... Here, let's see if this works. So if I put this down here, and I say you are receiving fluid, and you are disabled on that front, and then you're going to accept water, can I put a sprinkler on top of you? And then you'll just be like, I get it. Yeah, boys! Oh, that's neat. I like how that works, actually. Now, does that reach underneath is my question. Because if so, we could just put it like right on top of the farming thing. Well, I don't know if I want to risk it, per se. And making these sprinklers wasn't that bad from memory. All right, so let's just go ahead, keep it as is. And then we'll just do this as well here. Nope, wrong orientation. So this orientation is what I want. So let's turn you on to water. Disable receiving fluids and then put that down hey look at that so we actually ended up doing the sprinklers at the end of the day we still ended up doing the sprinklers I don't know if that actually helps them grow hmm So I don't actually know if that will help. Hopefully it helps. I have actually no idea whether or not that would help. I'm assuming this would work in the same, like a weaker version of bone mealing it. So here's to hoping it works. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's doing anything. I don't, it doesn't look like it's doing much of anything at all. Meh, at least it kind of looks neat. <laughs> at the very least, it kind of looks neat. I actually might just put in... Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. If I if we ever decide like, hey, you know what? Let's just actually no, 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 no. That's bad logic, Choco. We're 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 play Sky Factory. I can do that. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> this is dangerous stuff, man. We're, we've we've gotten ourselves into some dangerous stuff by playing Sky Factory. I don't know. My brain's like, yeah, we can do whatever we want. All right. Um, I need to make myself. Another Tessie. Cry every time. Need so many Tessies. Alright, Tesseract frame. I am going to need more Endarium ingots. Mother of Mercy. So I'm going to need... Oh, Lord. Alright, Tessie. Pyrothean. 58. Again, ran out of sulfur, but that's alright. Okie doke. Whoop, wrong one. <laughs> All right, and then we need to get ourselves. Oh, that's the Endarium blend, because they're very fancy here. All right, and then we need to make Endarium base. Mm-hmm, two tin, one silver, one plat. So let me see here. Two tin, one silver, and one plat. So let's put in Seven. And I believe ten was the last one, so there we go. Fourteen of you. And then a whole butt ton of ender pearls. I said a butt ton, and I demand a butt ton, and I will not accept anything less. Alright, so there's butt ton. Very good. And then now we just have to go down under here. Break up, hold on. 
let's convert these first convert convert and then convert and then we just have to put in tin silver and plat and that should be creating for us our endarian base which it indeed is very very good and then we can also actually no we know we can't um, we can just put in some ender pearls into here all right so ender pearls flowing in doing its thing doing its thing 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 and then we got all cells and durian bases cooking up very very good and all this wonderful glorious stuff now i do just need one tesseract so i just need to take one two three four of you and then i'm going to need to actually smelt you down as well so let's take all the stuff for Signalum out. I will leave the Signalum stuff in here. No, I'm not. That's a filthy, dirty, rotten lie. All right, and then four, four. I didn't take the Pyrothium with me. Why do I do this to myself? All right, Pyrothium, one, two. That will do the trick for now. And also, let me store these things because I undoubtedly will forget about them. 120%. Two of the pyrothium into here. Actually, what am I doing? I need the tin. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. I need you. I need you back. All right. Tin, 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 tin. Rin, tin, 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 tin. Boom. That's going to create more endarium base for us. All right. And then this is now cooking down. That's going to make us the actual endarium ingots themselves. And then we should be well on our way to making another Tessie. Another beautiful fabulous Tessie and then with this all in place I think we're actually doing pretty well so good 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 all around looking aces I believe is the expression and then oh, 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 oh look at that wood oak barricade okay and then store this all into there and then let's just make ourselves a whole bunch of sticks sticks as far as the eye can see all right and then with said sticks we can throw them into the loot recycler and then honestly like easy game <laughs> like easy easy game and this can store up to wait okay so it can store up to like around 200 of those that's actually pretty good all things said and done it's pretty nice all right so let me go ahead make some more wood all right, so let's make some more planks here. And then convert said planks into sticks. Beep. And then ha <laughs> And then with these sticks, we can go ahead and make even more loot bags. Ah, yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, that's how much how much we are towards our next loot bag. That's not how much capacity it can hold. Ah, okay. Now let me think here. It's let me actually take a look. So loot bags, right? It goes in order to make one legendary, we're gonna need four epics, sixteen rares, sixty-four uncommons, and two hundred fifty-six commons. Dang, we need two hundred fifty-six commons. That's nuts. Ninety-two. Ugh, that's pretty steep, man. I don't know. All right, so we're, we're going to have to definitely let the wood kind of catch up to that. I don't think we're quite ready to just kind of go ham tar with it yet. But the good thing close. Good thing pretty darn close, I will say. Uh, let me go ahead and make ourselves a Tessie. I don't know when I started calling Tesseracts Tessies, but I love calling them Tessies. <laughs> I don't know when this happened, but it is great. All right, Tesseract frame. Fill, fill, fill. And then... Dream is a wish your Tessie makes when you want to make things do crazy stuff and you just do not wish to mess it up. All right, and then there is that. Now we need the sprinklers. Spr what is that? Oh, you can make sprinkled cakes. That sounds delightful. Not for us, but delightful nonetheless. I'm actually not a big sweets person, but. I know one person who would like that. And her name rhymes with... Y Yomo? <laughs> you guys never know who it is. You'll never know. It is impossible to tell. Alright, and then put these Tessies down. 
Okay. You are now receiving water, good friend. And oh, I forgot to disable the redstone signal on you. I don't know if that actually matters. I've yet to see it really actually matter in truth. But eh, whatever. Might as well do it, I suppose. All right. You are receiving water, not lava. I do not wish for it to sprinkle lava onto my crop. That would be bad. And then... There we go. Just like that. Sprinklers. And so with this, we conclude the day's events. Well, looking great and dandy. Let me go ahead, hit up the achievement table. And let's actually go through. So, we actually ended up... We, we checked this off, but we can actually check it off now. Use a water sprinkler to water a farm. Check. And then we've done all this other stuff as well. So we've actually done everything that we need. Hmm. The more you know. All right. So we if we were to keep on following this, really the next thing to do would be Age of Exploration. I think I'm going to not do that just yet, though. I'm going to instead get into a little bit more Thomcraft stuff, because I'm kind of curious to get back into it, because I was having a lot of fun identifying things. And we have a lot of toys that we can identify, which I'm going to be really excited about. But, uh, yeah, we have quite a few different things here. Quite a... Quite a good number of like random stuff has been achieved. So I'm pretty happy about that, but all in all, pretty good progress being made. Pretty darn good progress, if I do say so myself. But let me see here. I, I just want to see, I want to witness a tree growing. I guess it has to have been growing, because otherwise how else would it have gotten wood? I don't think I had that much wood originally. So it must be growing, right? I don't know if that logic makes any form of sense, but... Let me see here. Right now I'm sitting at 309 wood. Is that... Do we gain wood between now and then? Oh, yep, it just went up. It just went up by five. Alright, so yeah, it is working. Going really slowly, but, you know, slow and steady wins the race. I don't really need that much wood. So... We will continue and proceed onwards, and then, of course, that whole process is going to get much more rapid as we go along in our little series here, because, of course, once we pass a certain point in Sky Factory, we're going to, and, you know, that magical point that I'm not referring to for some reason specifically, but whenever we actually do end up getting ourselves onto the point where we are going to replace it with punji sticks, we'll get way more loot bags, right? So loot bags will not be a problem. So kind of something to look forward to. Loot recycling is now a thing. We can absolutely convert sticks, zombie flesh, whatever we really tickle our fancy at that moment. We can absolutely do that. Ooh, I wonder if ender pearls, ender pearls work. Here, how much value do I get out of you? 48. 48 per ender pearl. And then let's see. If I were to do sticks, it's going to take one stick. One lonely little stick. I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth it for an ender pearl trade. That's a little bit steep, I think, for me. All right. Well, any who's good rules, that is all for today, guys. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, consider leaving a like rating down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you're like, hey, I want to see what happens next. And I'll see you guys another time. So take care, everybody, and ciao for now.